Hello everyone and welcome to the webinar. Today's topic, Rise Above the Competition, ClearPath MCP Release 19.0. Let's get started. Our speakers for you today are Justin Okun, uh, Product Manager, uh, ClearPath MCP Software, and Navneet Kumar, uh, ClearPath Forward Services Product Manager. And with that, Justin, the audience is yours. Thank you, Matt. My name is Justin Oken, and I am the Product Manager for ClearPath MCP Software. And welcome to this webinar about ClearPath MCP Release 19.0, the latest release of the integrated operating environment that is trusted with powering some of the most demanding and security-sensitive workloads out there. This new release is another milestone in our mission to provide you with an operating environment that is purpose-built to deliver optimal performance, unmatched security, and total reliability. Uh, this this webinar is especially, uh, I'm especially excited to be presenting to you today because this is my first webinar for our ClearPath MC re release in this role. And so I'm very excited to be able to share with you the details about the release and what we've been working on to make MCP 19 so great. ClearPath MCP release 19.0 joins release 18.0 and release 17.0 as supported operating environments for Libra servers and ClearPath software series. Release 17.0 is nearing the end of its supported term, which concludes in April of next year. So it's recommended that users of this level uh, begin looking at migrating to one of the other supported options. Users of Release 18.0 will be supported through, uh, until, through April 2022. ClearPath MCP Release 19.0 officially became available for order on June 13th, and as with, with prior releases, it will be supported uh, for five years. New MCP releases continue to occur on a two-year cadence with the next release planned for the second quarter of 2021. Security, integration, optimization, and ease of use are the areas of innovation that guide our development of new capabilities for the MCP operating environment. Security was designed into it from day one, and that drive to produce the most secure environment available continues with this release. Our integration capabilities enable you to seamlessly integrate your existing MCP applications with industry standard tools and technologies, providing you the flexibility and the power to rapidly leverage ClearPath MCP's capabilities with your new client engaging applications. Our engineering teams are also looking for ways to improve the overall system's efficiency and thus expand on limits to enable your application's future needs. And finally, there is ease of use. We are continuously looking for ways to improve the usability of our products to make accomplishing tasks e easier and to enable you, your staff to be more efficient. So the first area I'm going to cover is security. And security has been a focus for us since the beginning. And ClearPath MCP release 19.0 is no exception. It continues our tradition of security being at the center of everything we do. According to the U.S. National Vulnerability Database, the U.S. ClearPath MCP operating environment is one of only two that has distinguished themselves from all others by having never allowed a client's invaluable data to be compromised. The other platform is the other member of the Unisys ClearPath family. These results are not coincidental. They are a consequence of security being designed into all layers of our operating environments from the very first day and our unwavering commitment to continuing enhancing our security with every release. As with prior releases, ClearPath MCP release 19.0 continues to build upon the environment's strong security capabilities with a variety of new enhancements. I'll be touching on our next generation database encryption, our new multi-factor authentication capability, our new enhanced cryptography, and the products we've improved to use encrypted communications. I will also speak to some of the new features that are provided in, with the Locum 360 suite of security products. Data security is receiving a lot more regulatory security, and it has become a focus for industry guidelines. Well-known examples are the European Union's General Data Protection Regulation and the Payment Card Industry's Data Security Standard. Our database encryption technology was created with industry and regulatory guidelines in mind. First made available with release 18.0, database encryption enables you to secure your databases with another level of protection. It prevents database data from being compromised at the file system level. With ClearPath MCP release 19.0, we're bringing, to, bringing you our next generation of database encryption, structure level encryption. 
It complements and greatly expands upon the field level encryption capabilities that were introduced with the prior release. Like our earlier offering, this technology protects database data from being accessed through direct file access. However, this technology protects entire database structures rather than individual fields. Structure level encryption is easily applied to your existing databases. Choose which structures you want encrypted by adding the data encrypt keyword to the structure's DASDL definition and apply the encryption by reorganizing your database. Unlike with field level encryption, adding encryption does not require applications to be recompiled and the encryption can even be applied while the database is online. Encryption happens transparently to your application and is performed at the firmware level to minimize overhead. Additionally, structure level encryption allows for a much wider range of query types than field level encryption supports, making it easier to use in your applications and much less likely your application will require changes to take advantage of database encryption. The next capability I'm going to talk about is multi-factor authentication. Users are often the weakest link when it comes to security. One way or another, their confidential login information may get leaked to malicious actors, and by the time this is discovered, the damage may have already been done. The solution is to have users confirm their identities at login by entering information that only they are able to provide. Failure to provide this information prevents access to the system, even if the given login name and password credentials are correct. This effectively prevents imposters from gaining access to the system while also logging a failed attempt to inform administrators. Usage of multi-factor authentication is already encouraged by industry guidelines like the previously mentioned payment card industry data security standard. In ClearPath MCP release 19.0, once multi-factor authentication is enabled, Candy, Mark, and Locum 360 products will begin prompting users to enter in single-use passcodes in addition to their user codes and passwords. Here's how the process works. After a user attempts to log in with their credentials, a passcode is generated by the system and it's sent to the user's registered email account. Before being granted access to the system, the user will be asked to retrieve the generated passcode and enter it. If it matches, the user will be granted access. If not, the user will be denied access and the failed attempt will be logged. At this time, an emailed single-use passcode is the only supported method of multi-factor authentication. Newer, stronger cryptography algorithms are continuously being developed to replace older and weaker ones. ClearPath MCP Release 19 will allow you to take advantage of some of the newest and strongest cryptography algorithms available for commercial use. Using newer algorithms means your secure communications will be more resilient to hacking attempts and you'll enjoy compatibility with important industry standard protocols. The Commercial National Security Algorithm Suite is a collection of cryptography algorithms the U.S. federal government recommends for implementing strong encryption for commercial use. ClearPath MCP Release 19.0 provides a selection of these algorithms that can be used to achieve the CNSA's suite's recommended level of protection. This set includes modern algorithms that leverage elliptic curve cryptography, which provides strong encryption while using smaller key sizes. These algorithms are available for use with TLS and secure shell protocols, which are important for securely transmitting sensitive data between operating environments. CNSA cryptography is not available at lunch. It will be available in the fourth quarter and its availability will be announced via a customer technical bulletin. A sound security policy also requires continuous evaluation and improvement. You'll want to be able to easily measure your progress towards your security goals by comparing your current policy against historical records. And internal and external auditors will want to see proof that regulations and industry best practices are being followed. Our partner, Locum, has designed the Locum 360 suite of security tools to help your organization accomplish these objectives and more. Their suite complements our security capabilities by making it easy to implement security practices assess the state of your security policy, monitor for security events in real time, and gives you the facilities to investigate log security events in detail. So here's an overview of some of the features that, that Locum implemented to complement the features, the security features available in ClearPath MCP release 19.0. Uh, first of all, all Locum products fully support 
this releases new multi-factor authentication capability for, for user logins. So for users to be able to access the features of the software, they would have to enter in the, the single-use passcodes to be granted access. Uh, Locum Secure Audits reporting capabilities were expanded to capture information about multi-factor authentication failures in the security violation report. And a new batch and client report was created to show security issues associated with network shares and FTP file transfers. Additionally, it can now be configured to work with log information uh, collected from non-local systems for use in later analysis. Locum Real-Time Monitor has, has some new alerts implemented. Uh, these alerts allow you to be notified about multi-factor authentication events, MCP network share activity, and file transfer activity. Locum Safe, Surveys, Safe Survey uh, software versions report w was improved to now include information on all active MCS programs, all Unisys system programs on the hot load family, and improved C file analysis. And Locum Safe and Secure was enhanced to provide a system option for automatically deleting user records for accounts that are suspended over a specified duration. To further secure this release, we've updated more of our products to communicate use, using secured connections. A web enabler now supports complete end-to-end -end data encryption when using the HTTP tunnel component in three-tiered environments. The ClearPath Telnet client can now negotiate encrypted Telnet sessions using the TLS protocol. Additionally, the email utility can also utilize implicit mode TLS to securely transmit messages to email servers. And finally, both the Visual IDE and Programmer's Workbench development not, uh, environments can now also take advantage of encrypted communications when connected to ClearPath MCP operating environments. The next, but just as important area of focus is integration. This is what enables ClearPath to be a powerful driver for your organization's digital transformation. Its rich assortment of integration capabilities empowers your organization to rapidly create new and engaging applications that leverage ClearPath's capabilities. ClearPath MCP release 19.0 includes new integration capabilities that makes it more versatile than ever. The integration highlights for this release are the new secure shell terminal sessions, updates to relational database server, enterprise output manager 14.0, operation sentinel 17.0, and the available assortment of powerful independently released products. So this next feature is actually a personal favorite of mine. What is Secure Shell? It is a popular standard for securely accessing remote systems. The protocol is heavily utilized by administrators of other environments for securely transferring files between systems and for securely operating remote systems. Prior to ClearPath MCP release 19.0, Secure file transfers and remote execution, command execution were the only supported use cases for Secure Shell offering. With ClearPath MCP 19.0, Secure Shell can now be used to remotely access MCP environment terminal sessions. So what are the advantages of being able to access your MCP environment through Secure Shell? Well, it enables your staff to use the tools they already know from working with other environments. And it actually makes ClearPath more accessible to new users who are learning to operate uh, ClearPath. It makes it more approachable. Uh, secure shell clients are available for most platforms with some of the popular options being free and open source. So shown here is a SSH MCP terminal session established using a popular free client called Putty, which is available for Windows environment. You know, I mentioned it was a personal favorite of mine and it's become my preferred way of logging into ClearPath systems. But I've also found that it's been a hit with our latest generation of ClearPath developers. You know, for them, it, it makes, it allows it clear, use operating ClearPath to align better with the workflows they, they're used to, you know, that they've developed throughout their careers. Relational database server for ClearPath makes DMS2 databases accessible to other environments. For example, it enables Windows programs that support the ODBC protocol, like Microsoft's Office products, 
to retrieve or update DMS2 data using SQL queries. This product is the upgrade path for users of the older, functionally similar ODBC Access product that was discontinued and last shipped with ClearPath MCP release 18.0. ODBC Access is not included with release 19.0. However, the 18.0 version can be released, can be used with release 19.0 operating environments and DMS2 databases if you require more time when transitioning your applications over to using relational database server. Let's look at some of the enhancements that made it into Relational Database Server for this release. Query Design Center received a new automation capability and an expanded interface for managing database access rights. Automation is provided through the use of a new command line interface that enables users to create scripts to execute database queries. The expanded access rights user interfaces, user interface replaces the limited capabilities available through Relational Design Center. From this new interface, you can grant, revoke, and list permissions at the table level. You can also save, out, save off and restore permission settings. MCP SQL has also received updates to improve its overall functionality. We've worked to increase its compatibility with Microsoft Office 2016, and we've implemented better support for Japanese character sets. When you think of enterprise output management, document printing probably comes to mind, but it's actually so much more than that. EOM can route documents for digital processing, and it can transform the data before delivering it to its destination. For example, as pictured here, it can translate raw text input into a graphical report stored as a PDF document. You know, so with enterprise output management, you're not just printing, you're integrating systems through the flow and transformation of digital documents. So a couple highlights from Enterprise Output Management 14.0 is, is the support for the Internet Printing Protocol and digital PDF signing. The Internet Printing Protocol is a protocol that's supported by today's printers and other devices for routing uh, documents. Enterprise Output Manager can both receive documents via this protocol and route documents to your next destination using it. This protocol also enables communications to, to be secured using HTTPS. Digital PDF signing or digital signatures provide protection against a document's data being altered after it was produced, giving, giving the recipient confidence that the document was received intact. Also available to users of ClearPath MCP release 19.0 is Operation Sentinel. And it was designed to make managing your MCP environments and your IT infrastructure easier. It reduces the complexity of your IT infrastructure down to a single diagram, giving your staff one place to manage numerous heterogeneous environments. Being able to automate tasks and monitor the health of your systems from a centralized, from a centralized point of view increases your staff's efficiency, uh, lowers cost, and can reduce risk. With, with Operation Sentinel version 17.0, a number of new helpful features were implemented to make managing your infrastructure even easier. Linux resource monitor failures are now detected and cause alerts to be issued. Uh, the, top, the topology view now allows users to add their own custom labels, enabling you to further customize your diagram to better document the organization of your IT infrastructure. Other near user interface enhancements make it much easier to define complex alerts that are triggered off of multiple threshold conditions. And a new log set concept was introduced to enable you to work with consolidated logs from, pulled from multiple systems. Unisys also offers a wide range of independently replaced products that fervently, further enable ClearPath to power your applications and also makes enhancing your applications easier. Uh, data Exchange enables you to fully leverage the data stored in your ClearPath MCP environment to drive your systems of engagement and perform data analytics. It replicates your data to other data stores and keep them synchronized in near real time. Data Exchange is bi-directional, meaning remote data stores can be updated by changes to DMS2 and vice versa. The format of the data can also be transferred transformed during transmission, allowing you to specify which data is transferred and the form that best accommodates the destination. 
introduced with Data Exchange 5.0 is support for Apache Kafka as a destination. This opens up a world of new possibilities. Anything that can subscribe to a Kafka topic can now receive events about DMS2 updates. And this really enables your ClearPath MCP environments to be able to participate in an event-driven application architecture. ClearPath Forward ePortal modernizes how users and other operating environments interact with your ClearPath applications and resources. It can transform your existing ClearPath terminal-based applications to feature modern web and mo mobile user interface. And it can do this without requiring changes to your core application. It can also make services powered by your ClearPath, MC, ClearPath environments available for use by other systems as web services. This allows any devices that can access a web service to take advantage of services powered by your ClearPath environment. Application integration services enables you to bring new capabilities to your ClearPath MCP applications by taking advantage of common software development skills, skill sets, and the capabilities available to Windows.NET and Java platforms. For example, you can use AIS to enable your ClearPath MCP application to access a web service. Or you can write Windows software to perform automation. AIS brings your developers the flexibility to access and manipulate ClearPath MCP files and file attributes from Windows programs, invoke ClearPath MCP library procedures from, window, from a Windows application, initiate comms transactions from a Windows-based application, and enable ClearPath MCP programs to execute code implemented in Windows.NET based libraries, making a lot of new possibilities available to your ClearPath applications. Unisys ClearPath Visual ID 3.0 enables ClearPath developers to apply their existing skills by enabling them to use the popular Microsoft Visual Studio integrated development environment. The Visual IDE plugin augments the development environment with all of the capabilities necessary for working with ClearPath MCP, Algol, and COBOL symbols, while enabling the use of existing capabilities like integrated source control management using Git. With Visual IDE, Microsoft Visual Studio can become the single IDE for developing all parts of your ClearPath MCP application stack, including MCP symbols, ePortal projects, AB Suite projects, and AIS modules. Agile Business Suite enables the rapid building and deployment of complete solutions or services that can interact with our applications. It is an alternative to implementing your programs using, you know, directly in Algo or COBOL. Instead, Agile Business Suite features a model-based development approach that enables applications to be created using higher-level business terms instead of these traditional programming languages. Over, the overall ease of use of our products and features is, is very important to us. It reduces complexity, enables your staff to be more productive, and many of the improvements we've made in this area were based on feedback we've received from clients like you. In ClearPath MCP release 19.0, we've made things easier by improving the quality of several log messages implementing usability enhancements and assorted products, and through the introduction of our new digital delivery platform, which makes it easier and faster to access your software. So let's look at some of the ways we've improved logging in ClearPath MCP release 19.0. Uh, client access services now log security violation entries when a remote user's attempt to at accessing a file is denied. The log entry includes the file name involved and other details about the nature of the attempted access. Log records concerning connections to disk shares were improved to include the name of the share that was accessed, in addition to the user account and the IP address or host name the connection originated from. With DMS2, we've enhanced it by removing a limitation that prevented event log entries from being recorded when a database is opened by using a non-privileged user code. Uh, going forward, DMS2 will log, will log entries to the event log, irregardless of the privilege level of the user code that is used to open up a database. When port conflicts occur, occur Telnet services will now create log entries that contain information about the port number, IP address, and fully qualified domain name. 
FTP services was updated to include information about the trustworthiness of a client certificate as part of the begin and end session log entries. And workload management was enhanced to log when policies are activated and deactivated. Here are some notable usability enhancements that were made to ClearPath MCP release 19.0 products. For Launcher component, included with client access services, can now run as a Windows service. This enables tasks to be automatically launched without require, requiring that the Launcher's graphical user interface is running on the Windows environment. The behavior of workflow language, or WIFL, will now honor the set user code and set group code file attributes on job symbol files, making them more consistent with how these attributes are applied to code files. Now when a job is executed, it will run with the user code and or group code specified by these attributes instead of with the user code and group code associated with the user who initiated it. And the workload center client of workload management for ClearPath MCP was updated to improve the usability of assisted workload discovery. It now features menus that enables customization of the data fields that are displayed. This makes it especially helpful for working with the values most relevant for building your workload groups and rules configuration. ClearPath MCP release 19.0 is the first new release to utilize our new div digital delivery platform that makes obtaining your software easier and faster. The process for ordering your software updates remains unchanged. However, the way you obtain your software will now be as follows. Once your order is processed, instructions will be emailed to you describing how to access the Unisys Download Center using a web browser. Once logged into the Unisys Download Center, you'll be presented with an easy to navigate user interface that will enable you to download all of the software associated with your order. Once your software is downloaded, follow the documentation to complete your installation. The final area of innovation I'm covering today is optimization. Our engineering, our engineering teams are continuously looking at ways to further optimize all aspects of the ClearPath MCP operating env environment. Operations, optimizations may take the form of infrastructure enhancements, efficiency improvements, and expanded system limits. And the highlights I'm covering in this area are enhanced networking and some of the expanded limits. ClearPath MCP release 19.0 features numerous networking enhan enhancements. The maximum message size supported by connectivity services was increased to align better with the underlying TCP IP maximum message size. This results in greater data data transfer efficiency for applications that transfer large amounts of data. Uh, we've also updated the TCP IP timers to align better with today's more powerful systems. This optimization improves overall performance, especially for applications that experience high transaction rates. IPv6 support received many enhancements in this release to bring it up to conformance with the latest standards. This maximizes compatibility but also improves security by providing protection against blind and window attacks and enabling DNS, dynamic DNS updates to be secured with Kerberos authentication. So there are a couple areas where we've expanded uh, limits in ClearPath MCP release 19.0. Uh, for one, we've increased the maximum supported year from 2035 up to 2147. All compilers were updated to support new interfaces for enabling your applications to take advantage of, of these ex expanded timestamps. Uh, we've even added a new interface that returns the current date in a new, new format. Uh, the MCP tape stack utility, maximum of 100 tapes, was increased to be able to process a maximum of 500 tapes. And this was done to accommodate today's increased media capacities. At this point, I will now pass the mic to my colleague, Navneet, to speak to you about ClearPath, the available ClearPath Forward services. Hello, everyone. I am Navneet Kumar, and I'm the product manager for ClearPath Forward services. I will briefly provide you an overview of 
portfolio of services at your disposal and benefits you can derive out of these services. ClearPath Forward services are an integrated holistic set of services to help maximize your investments in ClearPath Forward based applications, infrastructure, tools and skills. These services help in increasing the value of your core business applications and simplify operations and administration while mitigating business continuity risks. As you can see in this slide, our services portfolio is aligned into three themes. Evolve, implement and manage. Under Evolve, we offer primarily advisory, consulting and modernization services where we talk to you, understand your challenges, assess your environment and execute the modernization projects. We perform innovation workshop for a structured brainstorming. We partner with you in your journey from traditional to digital enterprise. Our implement offerings are focused on keeping your systems, hardware, software current so that you can leverage the enhanced features available in the latest versions. Under Manage, we offer end-to-end -end management of your entire applications and infrastructure. We offer various models such as staff augmentation, managed services and fixed price. I will further elaborate these three services in coming slides. Application evolution is a journey of transformation from an as-is state in which current or future needs are not completely met to a future to-be state where organizations might want to go. It involves a comprehensive architecture, focused initiatives, and a well-defined roadmap. Application services will be your partner in your application evolution journey and it include activities such as optimizing your applications to address cost and operational efficiencies in the short term. In long term, re-architecting your applications where it makes sense in order to increase business agility and process enhancements. Application developments using industry standard tools, modernization and integration via industry standard interfaces and technologies such as microservices, data analytics enablement, mobility enablement and user interface design, DevOps. To summarize, the focus of application services is on evolution and incrementally evolve you into the future state in a planned and organized fashion. With increasing complexity of the IT ecosystem, services management is increasingly becoming challenging. Businesses demand zero defect everywhere. The need is to manage entire IT landscape from a business perspective through integrated services and ensuring end-to-end -end SLA accountability across the application and infra stack. To address this need, the many services portfolio offers operations and maintenance of your ClearPath application and infrastructure, specialized skills when you need them, flexible remote on-premise dedicated onshore offshore service models. ClearPath managed services also coordinate service response across your organization allowing your associates to focus on innovation initiatives. Some of the key benefits of managed services are 24 cross 7 available and secure IT 
that delivers software defined services a hybrid IT environment that is expertly managed to accelerate growth improve productivity and transform business operations enhanced cost effectiveness with OPEX models and resource optimization meeting industry and government regulation and compliances there is no discounting the vital importance of your clear path forward system it is the hub of your most critical processes it runs an exceptionally high volume of transactions while delivering unparalleled data integrity clear path product services will help you to develop and deploy an implementation plan aimed at making sure your clear path forward systems and related technologies remain well equipped to handle your most critical business processes you will have the support and expertise you need to keep them up to date with current software and hardware levels aligned with future capacity needs and prime to leverage new technologies that can help your company disrupt established business models product services will also assist you in your journey for MCP software series help you in keeping pace with exploding data volumes extend the capabilities provided by Unisys solutions such as AB suite ePortal data exchange operation sentinel etc to summarize I will briefly touch upon why Unisys services will be a right partner for your IT services needs related to clear path in Unisys you are engaging with a partner that developed the system in its R&D center and thus able to offer implementation upgrade and maintenance of the IT system in an optimal and predictable manner we understand the anatomy of your clear path applications and infrastructure we have best practices and assets to assist in different stages of implementation and modernization we guide our clients through the journey of maximizing value that ClearPath provides. With this services section of presentation is over. Uh, back to you, Justin. You know, before we conclude, I'm going to give a brief overview of the resources that are available for learning more about ClearPath MCP release 19.0 and everything else ClearPath. So I'm going to start out by talking about our social media resources because there's a lot of stuff available through our social media presence, which I don't think many people are aware of. Uh, you know, of course, following us on Facebook, LinkedIn, or Twitter will ensure, will ensure that you keep current on latest Unisys news and ClearPath news. However, our engagement does not end there. We are also leveraging social media to bring you content authored by Unisys ClearPath MCP experts. For example, did you know on Unisys.com there are a variety of ClearPath forward themed blogs, like the Thinking Security series authored by distinguished engineer Mike Kane? Another example is the Unisys ClearPath channel we maintain on YouTube, which features a wealth of informational videos. The ClearPath MCP release 19.0 technical update videos are already posted there, and they delve into the technical details behind many of the highlights I've covered today. You'll also find recordings of webinars like this one and product tutorials. And to help you get the most out of your ClearPath MCP environments, we've also started a new video series called FaceTime with Andy. In this series, aimed at ClearPath users of all levels of expertise, distinguished engineer Andy Bill shares ideas, tips, and insights into what can be accomplished using the numerous tools and capabilities that are available. Please let us know in the comments if you have suggestions for topics we may want to cover in future episodes. And of course, there's also a lot of information av made available to you through our websites and newsletters. At unisys.com, you can find information about our products, and it is the hub where you can access many of the other resources I just mentioned. As with prior releases, all of our technical documents are available for you to browse on our support site. 
We also publish two ClearPath themed newsletters. The ClearPath Forward Connection contains articles contributed by Unis' ClearPath experts on a variety of topics, including new product offerings, ClearPath application development, and DevOps. The AB, News, AB Suite newsletter focuses on news and topics related to developing solutions using the AB Suite development environment and runtime. So there is a lot of information out there that you can explore to learn more about ClearPath and how to leverage what it provides to power your applications in new ways. So I want to thank you all for attending our webinar on ClearPath MCP release 19.0. It was a pleasure for me to be able to share with you some of the exciting highlights from ClearPath MCP release 19.0. With the collection of security, integration, ease of use, and optimization features covered today, your organization will have what it needs to rise above the competition. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you, Justin. That does bring us to the Q&A portion of the presentation today. Uh, again, if you do have questions for the presenters, uh, you can send those across using the question box on the lower right-hand side of the menu toolbar. Uh, we'll get to as many as we can. If we uh, don't get to them during a live session here, we will follow up with you uh, directly via email as well. Um, so the first question I have that has come across is, when is the release available? Okay, the release is available for order today. It actually became available in June, but yes, you can order your update today and receive the content we, I discussed. Excellent. Thank you, Justin. The next question that we have is, are all MCP releases now available via download? Okay, so ClearPath MCP 19.0 is delivered that way, uh, but we've also changed the delivery of MC, ClearPath MCP release 18.0. So orders for that release will now also be uh, delivered through the Unisys Download Center. Uh, the next question we have is how do we order it? Uh, you, so you order it using the, uh, the same process that you've uh, uh, used before. Uh, Uh, I, I, I can provide you, if, I, if you contact me, I can provide you the information on where to do that. I, I don't have the details of that off the top of my head, but it's consistent with the same process uh, as with prior MCP releases. Excellent. Next question we have is, does the structure level encryption replace the field level encryption? Uh, no, it doesn't. So the field level capabilities that were implemented with ClearPath MCP release 18.0 are, are still there and available, and there are situations where you may want to use it. You know, you really want to use that when you want to target specific fields that are, are sensitive. Uh, structure level encryption uh, you want to use when you have, like, structures that are designed in, in your database to hold, like, lots of sensitive information. So it's more convenient to use that than to secure each of the fields separately, and there's some performance benefits uh, for doing that. Uh, also, the, the flexibility that, that you gain by using uh, uh, structure-level encryption is helpful with queries. Uh, you know, a, a side effect of field-level encryption is that it limited your queries to really doing equality comparisons. So the structure level encryption is a little bit more versatile in, in the way it can be used within your applications. Great. And the next question that we have is, where can I find the recording? Okay. The recording will be posted to our YouTube, our YouTube Unisys ClearPath ch channel uh, in the near future. And there should be a link to it that gets posted to our unisys.com homepage in the near future as well. And it looks like we've got another one coming across. Uh, it says, will the CNSA suite uh, be available for Mexico? I will, I'll have to, to look into that. You know, that's a, that's an export compliance question and I, I don't know off the 
top of my head. So that is something I will look into and find out. Excellent. Then uh, I don't believe there are any other questions that we have for you at this time. So Justin, I guess I'd just like to leave it to you for any uh, closing statements or takeaway for the audience. Uh, just, you know, thank you for joining us today. I mean, we, we've worked really hard to bring you the content that, that we've presented today in the ClearPath MCP release.19.0. Uh, you know, you can also go to the, to the uh, support site to download the, uh, the software release announcement, which has an even more thorough list of the capabilities that made it into uh, this release. You know, yeah, I'm excited that I had the opportunity to be able to present to you the details of the release. We're already working hard on the next release and to bring you even more exciting content. So stay tuned. And once again, thank you for, for joining us today. Excellent. And I'd like to thank you, Justin and Navneet, for another wonderful presentation. That does conclude today's event. Again, the recorded version of today's webinar will be made available to you in your email uh, on the Unisys ClearPath YouTube channel and also on the Unisys website. Again, I would like to thank you all for attending, and have a great day.